Just starting off the series on the crowns or the headdresses of the gods by looking at what I remember from my dream regressions about the headwear, the headdresses, what we wore on our heads from Atlantis. So the technology that I'm going to talk about was a hat. (laughs) Yep, you heard it right, a hat. Okay, well, let's call it a headdress to make it sound more significant or relevant. So this headdress provided the following. It provided for the collection and the holding of ambient energy that was required for some of the other devices. So often the watchers were outside of locations where the ambient energy was available. So think ley lines and Tesla. Um, Another aspect that it provided was the monitoring and reacting to environmental threats. Um, It also did light recording. It provided cranial protection like a motorbike helmet. Um, And strangely enough, it um, covered the hair. Many Atlanteans had red hair. So what did it actually look like? Well, the hat itself came in whatever design that the person preferred. So um, some hats had a simple upside down bucket like look about them. Whereas others, um, they chose something more shapely um, and even more interesting. But no matter what style, the base was um, was solid. It, it was um, providing protection. And um, it, the consistency of the items were what was on the hat. So what was on the hat? Okay, it was coils or tubes that were wound around the hat. And this was the part of it that collected, held and provided energy. So that was for when you were out in the wildlands and where there was often no access. So um, the, the tubes could be in different shapes. Often they were quite similar and some even had a bit of a snake-like look to them. And the last part of the ensemble was that an item could be clipped to the front or to the top of the hat. And that item would provide light or recording or protection. Um, It had a multifunction. And um, the protection basically was, for example, if any rapid movement by any animate object occurred, um, the item would cause uh, a temporary harmless stun for an animal or primitive and um, that was to ensure that if something was attacking um, and it was attacking quickly um, it wouldn't be so quick as to prevent the Atlantean from being protected so if they didn't have time to react the hat reacted and the item that did that had to stick out from the headdress. So it either stuck out at the front or it stuck out on top. It tended to be oval or round and slightly curved. Not not massively curved, but just sort of, it's kind of hard to describe. Um, yeah, it was curved. Okay, um, as an aside, um, I noticed that in Egypt, There are two symbols that appear on headdresses. One is a snake and the other is a vulture. The funny thing to me is that um, both the snake and the vulture have a similar kind of look to to this device that was sat, that was clipped into the hat. And it's like almost as if two different cultures were looking at the same item and one of them saw a snake shape and the other one saw a vulture head shape. And then the two cultures got together and instead of combining them, they put both of them (laughs) on their hats to copy what they thought they saw.